And there we go. The first zebra stream. Appreciate it, man. What's up, guys? We have switched. Oh, I should move the pure F thing to right there. Got the lo-fi playing. We got a lot going on right now. We got Discord on. You guys cannot hear them, but what is going on, guys? At least I don't think you can hear them. Let me know if you guys can hear like the music all right, if there's like the audio is going well. Something with sauce. And I mean, a burger could cover a different part of sculpting. Ooh. Oh, cool. I get the... Uh, I can see what they're saying via OBS. That's dope. Or here. So, first stream, guys. Let me know if uh, you guys can hear the... If this is like good volume for the voice. The audio sounds good. We're chilling. Pierce Property Team. <laughs> John, you could just... Tell me that. <laughs> nice. Cool. I got no plans. I think that's kind of the idea. Okay. Mika says sounds good. Nice. What's up, David? Miss you, bro. Cool. We got the cold brew going. Yeah, I muted it as well. Cool. Yeah, so no plans. I feel like we have a lot of people asking for burgers and stuff. I did check the, the Instagram. Ooh, Bader says ice cream. Thanks, bro. We could go any direction. What's he seen? No plans is also my preferred method. I just move the clay ball around or make splotches to see what it tells me. That's that's deep. That's real deep. And we love to hear it. Because I definitely do the same thing. Every every time I start the, the streams on Discord, which we are on right now, the link is in the description to that. Um we kind of just start with no plans and a lot of times because we've made so many foods at this point a really long part of the process is actually just figuring out what to make and that's how it be appreciate that window cool yeah we are literally we just went live they cannot hear the Discord. So it's on like the ZBrush, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, so we wiping. Cool. All right, I'm just gonna start with something here so we can get going. Simple as that. I'm trying to get used to like putting pure ref up here if we start with any references. If we start, I'm not even sure I'm gonna use references, but we might. Um, since this is our first one, and I'm not used to the header being here, but we'll get used to it. I usually start with a dynamic sphere. Just like that. I like kind of setting the scene up so I don't have to like uh, make sure I deal with all the document size and all that. Start simple. But uh, nice, we're here. Oh, wow. Hold on. One second. You know what I got to do. Second. You know I had to restart the, the tablet driver. Start driver. What is DC? What's up, Future the Goat? Starting the driver. Okay, cool. Should be good. Yeah, every once in a while, I'm using a uh, Wacom tablet, the Wacom Cintiq 24 Pro. Um, and sometimes you got to restart the drivers so that the pen can be detected. And now it can. There we go. And I think we're ready. Let me 
see. Yo, what's up, uh, Nilbio from Twitch? I like how I can see everyone kind of chatting in here, no matter the uh, platform. That's pretty dope. Cool. You guys think I should make a uh, like a cheeseburger or something? Start start like with a Krabby Patty maybe or like a I feel like that's kind of like a fun one. Chicken burger, ice cream. There's so many things we could do for the first stream. That's I'm trying to think here. All right. Actually, I have, but that might actually be a good one to start with. I don't know. There's no like. Krabby Patty Supreme. Yeah, let's do like a Krabby Patty with uh, jellyfish jelly or something. I feel like that's a simple. I don't want to go too brazy on the first stream and just make like the craziest thing ever. So maybe start simple. Krabby Patty with jellyfish jelly, maybe. Um, I'm thinking something like this. We have this reference over, um, but obviously this is a very simple. We can we can finesse it a little bit, bring that realism to it. Um, we got a few references here. Appreciate that window. Shout out. Um, but I feel like part of the fun process is kind of taking these cartoony renders or uh, snippets from cartoons and then just making them really hyper realistic as if they came to life that's kind of how i started with the food world so arimia goes finally on zbrush live i knew it let's get it all right cool well we don't see anyone denying this so let's let's run it all right i usually start with a dynamo sphere let's bring this thing way down and uh not sure the whether you guys are beginners Medium or advanced with ZBrush, but I'm gonna kind of take it at like a, a decent pace here. Not go too fast, too slow, but just let me know. Uh, so I like to start somewhat small so I have a bigger draw size to work with because sometimes I like finessing these bigger shapes. Um, and if this thing is too big, then you don't have that much control. Sean, I'm actually gonna use this technique from last night. I'm gonna go W, gear icon, flatten. Bring this guy up, oops. For the bun. Actually, let's make the top bun first. The thing I love about this is non-destructive. Let's go down. What'd you say? Yeah, right? I didn't know that either. Let me bring this here. That's a bottom bun if I've ever seen it. And then we just read down a mesh. I like separating these things into polygroups. So just like the very top edge. Honestly, what you could do is just uh, control shift drag. Just show this portion. Hold down control. Mask circle. Oops. Mask. Nice. Oops. There we go. And get somewhere nice and center. Control W. We now have two poly groups. We can now activate the rest of this. And uh, we kind of don't want this to be as sharp. We got full creative control here, so we're gonna mask this. So mask pen. And just feather this out by tapping. Invert the mask. And uh, let's maybe go deformation tab and take the contrast down. Just like that. Let's go geometry, Z mesh, keep groups half. We're in symmetry mode, so everything's gonna be pretty, pretty perfect at this point. What do we got here? Tattoon, what's good, fam? I'm doing good. ZBrush, does ZBrush have a cloner facility like Cinema 40? Uh, at least not yet. Not something that's called cloner. 
Um, I feel like the closest thing to that would be like a nano mesh where you can randomize different little small pieces of mesh, um, which we can probably go over in like a future stream. Um, sometimes I've used that before with like sesame seeds for the buns and stuff. But yeah, usually I like taking those kind of things into the hands of cinema and working with that. The jelly sounds like a perfect excuse to use that new slime tool. Ooh, that's a good idea, actually. We could do that for sure. We were messing with that last night, I think. What? All right, so easy enough. You got the smash, doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, with the food, I feel like the, the less perfect it is, the better, I feel like. We're going for that flossum technique. Let's maybe take this and go half by one more. A little bit more perfect. And then we're just gonna add a few subdivision levels. Boom. Let's do another. Now a very dense mesh here. Uh, I'm now going to solo out this mesh, mask it by just control tap. And just feathering this a little bit. You're feathering this in. Add some surface noise in here. Then we're going to reverse inflate it. chill fifty six watching let's get it oh yeah we'll definitely have we could throw some cheese in there we got full creative control so we'll do uh whatever we need to do with this burger as we come come to it and of course having subdivision levels you got all the flexibility in the world to kind of finesse this stuff. I'm actually going to take off symmetry at this point. Like, you can do whatever. Since we have such a low subdivision count, anything you do will have all these details packed into it. the bottom bun a lot of this stuff can do we can get to once we uh what do you call it once we get to the texturing um but for these streams i think we're sticking to zbrush looks good to me what do we do next uh cheese or the patty what are we thinking what's up lars we're making a i guess a crabby patty a realistic crabby patty that is uh got the jellyfish jelly on it and we might even do like a stretched out bun, which looks kind of fun. Patty mix. Patty, okay, Lars says Patty, let's get it. Hey, yo. All right, let's go add, I'm trying to think of the best way. I like making, every time I make one of these elements, I like to make it kind of a different way every time. Or at least I try to. So we could literally. Later, bro. Thanks for dropping by for a little bit. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Bottom bun. I think for this stream, I'll title everything just so it's easy to see. Um, and if you hear me talking to people, like back and forth, that's on the Discord. So feel free to join that as well. Discord link is in the description. A little bit. Uh, my buddy Ian, who's one of the uh, ZBrush instructors, shout out Ian, he's the GOAT. Uh, he was showing me some of that stuff at NAB. It was really dope. Hey, what is DC? 
I don't know about all that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna duplicate this burger, drag it on top, or not burger, the bun, and turn this into a burger. Literally just by dynameshing it um, with a low resolution. And so that's literally just all we need because it's like the same shape. Let's polish that, maybe even brush the resolution. Bring it up a little bit. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. Glass or jelly. Possibly in the future, honestly. I was messing with that, but I don't have a uh, redshift set up. So it wasn't really pulling up. So this is like a hockey puck at this point. I feel like the Krabby Patty, at least in this these scenes that I've seen before, are like mad. Uh, I think that could be a better picture. It's also the most low quality photo. Exactly. The most low quality photo ever. Uh, okay. Okay, dope. I think we're ahead of the game. No, you're good, bro. I appreciate it. I mean, you gave us the idea. Um, so we're going to go there. And looks chill. We're kind of not showing any of the detail we just put in there, but that's fine. Uh, let's go with another surface noise. Before we do that, let's zero mesh this thing. Maybe uh, by half. Maybe a few, uh, a couple subdivision levels here. 53,000 active points. Surface, same vibe. Maybe increase the uh, stuff here. Mask by noise, reverse inflate. Pretty simple. And again, a lot of this stuff will be baked in the texture too, so it doesn't really matter how crazy you get at this point. Um, but we're looking pretty decent. If you wanted to, there's always room to uh, add some finesse details using the damn standard brush. So sometimes I like just going in here. Makes them look that much more crafted and intricate when you got these little joints. Doesn't have to be perfect, especially at this phase. And peaceful music. You guys hear the music? Big waves. Wait, meaning like it's not coming through or you're just not listening to it? Oh, really? No, not Discord, on the streams. I was like, hey, yo. This man Damien shows up on here, says make the background purple. This is gay, bro. YouTube does the music. Okay, no. Ew, Photoshop says, can you make the bite as well? We could very well do that. I think the bite, we, sh we should want to do that from the beginning then. Um, yeah, screw it. Should we just make the bite? Might have to go back a few steps, but... I'm trying to think here. Yeah, let's make the let's make the burger in its entirety and then we'll we'll mess with that. I feel like that might be maybe better. Or maybe it'll make it harder. Who knows? Let's figure it out. Um jelly. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Honestly, we might want to make the top bun first. No eclair doesn't Sorry, fam. I mean Eva. <laughs> Eva just commented. Let's go, uh Are we putting cheese on this thing or straight to the jelly? What do we think of purple? This is like so different. <laughs> also, I don't even think that's a legit, that's like a fan art. <laughs> Texturing I'll be doing later on uh, on Discord. But for the, I think for the this series on the ZBrush Lives, 
think I'm sticking in ZBrush. So if you do want to see some of that stuff, uh, I do the lighting, texturing, composition, everything on Discord. Wait, so is there cheese or not? No che I mean, there's no cheese on this photo. But, uh... Dude, we got endless rain for this, so it doesn't really matter. Let me do the cheese then, Jelly. Screw it. Yeah, I think the more subdivisions you have here, the uh, the easier it can like fold down on itself. Activate dynamics. Should just go. Yeah. Let's go. Dynamic subdivision. Split. I'm gonna uncrease all this. Once we smooth it out, we should have some good geometry going. Apply. That's cheese. What's up, Ednardo? What's goody? Yes, the stream will stay on the channel after the live 100p. At least I think so. All right, jelly time. You ready, perp? Is that because you're biased? You know, it looks like a little splat. Having fun with it. You know the vibes. Oh. <laughs> Big vibes. Productions. Let me go extract, boom, accept. <clears throat> so now it's its own mesh. Looks chill. We got poly groups. That's always a good thing. So we can separate those. Um, usually I don't really care about poly groups, but we are sliming this thing up and stretching it. So I'm thinking the best way is maybe to just start by masking this stuff off, maybe. Actually, what am I doing? I could just mask by feature, grow the mask. Maybe boost the mask. Soften. Just start bringing this up a little bit. Okay. Who is that? Is that Betty? What's up, Betty? Okay. That's enough just to kind of get this thing flowing. Then we can let's try to do this in a in a in a cool way. I'm thinking because we want to use slime bridge, right? You know slime bridge, no? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go here. I'll show you. Let's inflate this a little bit, so just so we have enough topology to work with. Um, and I think, yeah, let's dynamesh this. So we got these two things. We can kind of see what's going to happen here. We want this part to meet up with this part. Um, if we wanted to really just be, get the job done and that's it, typically I'd probably just go, just drag this up and then finesse it from there. If you like, uh, smooth this out until you get something that you like. But if we're trying to use slime bridge, that's another story. I'm thinking we rip something like 
boom. And then boom. We have two mast areas. Slime bridge here. Tension all the way. See that fusion to go? Slime bridge, bro. And then when you mask, it kind of gets like crazy. So you like just mask two parts. Uh, I don't think we need these. We can increase some of those. Yeah. Yeah. You inflate those, maybe balloon inflate. Or I'm trying to think. Yeah, you can really just right I'm trying to think of the best way to maybe just inflate this whole thing and then geometry let's one polygroup it, half. Even halfer, that's even a term. Oh, how does slime bridge work? Um, should have gone over that. I'm gonna cancel this ear mesh. I'm gonna go back real quick. So you can never do it enough times. Okay, cool. So we have two sides of the mesh here. Obviously you have this guy and this guy here. Um, all you need is two two points in the same subtool and then you just mask one portion. You can color in or you can just straight up mask here, here. And then you go to the slime bridge tab and you just have all these, uh, you can mess with these how many little Capillaries, branches, bridges. I get confused with the bridges and branches, which one's which, but capillaries are kind of like the things that branch from the, the stems to the other ones. And you just click slime bridge and it makes this like crazy thing for you. Um, and the tension being high because you're stretching it out. And then when you dynamesh, it kind of fuses together, which is kind of cool. Um, so I think that's good. And then maybe this. Let's go taper. Go twist, maybe. And then when you read down a mesh, what do you say? Oh yeah. So I'm just gonna wanna fuse these together a little bit more and maybe even drag some of these out a little bit. Music sound vibe. Yeah, and just smooth them out and you get some cool little joints here. I feel like that's the idea. not that long you don't want to have the render size to be so big that the burger is just small now let's just remesh this maybe let's save where we're at duplicate the subtool geometry 
Zero your mesh. Looks good to me. And then once we add this, we don't have to worry about the DynaMesh fusing anymore. So we just finesse this a little bit. Yeah. Maybe twist it. You think that's necessary? Twist or nah? And then maybe this would be a good uh, option to use bend curve. Increase one of the points. So there's this point, you can move it. This point, and the middle one, we're not actually gonna move it, but we're gonna make it smaller. It's gonna create more of that tensiony look. Looks good to me. And I think you can also twist it with this too, yeah. And I think you can actually also adjust the bend to it. Uh, smoothness, curve resolution. You're looking amazing. There you go. All right, yeah, we'll keep it straight. You still good? Oh man, I didn't even see all these chat things. Sorry, I was looking at the YouTube chat. I forgot there's all these other ones. Um, what do we got here? Can you smudge up in the office collab at a stapler set? Dude, yes. Eventually we need to get on that. Uh, did the sign bridge, does the... Does the top guy needs be a mirror like that? That is lit. Appreciate that, uh, Nolbio. Does the top guy need to be a mirror like that? Did he mean the... Yeah, let me know if you could elaborate on that. Oh, I answered it. Cool. Dope. I am vibing with this music. Later, bro. Appreciate you joining in. Appreciate it. Cool. So uh, I added one subdivision level. I don't even think it's necessary, but we get the cool jelly look here. Um, I'm gonna mess with the top bun now. Just gonna go insert sphere. What? We got a question? Huh? Oh, appreciate that, Nelbio. Hey, we got people answering the chat. Um, yeah, use slime bridge. So that's a newer feature and I feel like that's new within like the past few months or a year. Um, so I wanted to use something new for this line. That was, that was cool. What's up, Patricio? Nice name. Great work, dude. How long do you work with ZBrush and 3D in general? 3D in general, I feel like maybe six, seven years at this point, maybe. Six years, maybe. Uh, ZBrush, I think the past three years. Um, so ZBrush was never, it wasn't a part of like the original content, but I got so into it because I felt like I was plateauing with the stuff I could make, so I got into it. <laughs> hey, what's up, Data Mash? What's up? Great work, dude. Appreciate it, dude. Can we bite this? Yeah, if you want. That's why we're here. So you could bite your phone or a computer. All right, so we're just gonna make this generally the size of the bottom bun, uh, just like that. And then I'm just gonna hold control, drag up. Looks good to me. Looks like a Krabby Patty bun. The only thing we didn't do was separate these into polygroups. So I think if we go polygroups, I think we cut it sharp enough to where we can go polygroups. And group by normals. Nice. And that did work. And we're just going to remesh it. Just like that. And let's do it again. Oh, yo. 
Maybe he smoked them just a little bit. Hey, yo. What? Yeah. No, yeah. So, there are bites in the burger. I think we can probably try to tackle that at the end. I can show you at least how I would do it. Whether or not the final will have bites in it. But yes, for sure. We can go over that uh, later on. Just remind me once we're done with this. This is good. Let's go. This should be keeping groups. I don't know why it's giving me such a weird... Okay, here's what I'll do to combat this. I'm just going to dynamesh it real quick. And then same thing. Keep groups. Yeah. And then half. Perfect. Yep. And then we just dynamesh or um, add subdivisions to this model. We got 36,000. Eh, let's do it one more time. So it's a pretty dense patty at this point. I'll probably cut off some of the edges here. Just like that. Adding some of these details, feathering these edges. surface noise Which should I go what's this thing Right Big webs How long have we been streaming? Noise. At the end, I think we're gonna go and just like, at least show the process of how I would do that. I don't know if it's gonna be in the final render or anything, but yeah, I think maybe. Yeah, it's definitely the way for sure. Realistically, um, it would have been nice to know that I was taking a bite from the start. So if I was gonna do that, I would have been prepping a little bit more for it. But you know, you know the wives. Appreciate it, me big well one. Yeah, I need to figure that out, like having buttons show up when I'm clicking stuff. In the meantime, let me know if there's something that I do where you're like, wait, how did you do that? But yeah. Oh, Violent. What's up, Violent? Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. What time is it over there? This is looking pretty, I mean, honestly, when you think about it, it's a pretty simple model. How long have we been streaming? Can we tell? Let's see. Oh, yeah, 47 minutes. Okay, cool. We got some time. Cool. 45 minutes late. Cool. Shiny boy still here? Oh yeah, but I'm trying to think of the next thing we can make. Um, yeah, I guess we can just get into taking a bite out of some of this stuff. So if I were to redo this, I'm actually gonna go and put these all in a folder. Um, a, B, Patty Patty, of course. Pick this up here. 
drag everything into a folder. I'm actually going to save this real quick. A, B, Jelly, what's up, Ava? What is good? Go on. Oh, wait. And saved. Dope. Yes, we can add sesame seeds for show. We're good. Dope. Eva, what you up to? What? Wow. All right, so we're gonna gear icon this, duplicate it, just like that. Hide the first one. We'll call this one rename folder. AB byte. So now we got this one here. We're gonna take this, and I believe I think of the very best way we can do this. Um, Let's go and we could do it a few different ways. We could dynamesh it, we could boolean it. I'm thinking we're gonna wanna boolean it. So there's a lot of subdivisions in this. What we're gonna wanna do, actually I'm not even sure we have to collapse the subdivision levels for this, to, just to boolean. We might be able to just to go Add in a cylinder for the bite. Drag it up here. Boolean. Now we can see kind of what's happening here. And we can really just start doing stuff like this um, for the bite. And this is within the same sub tool. I have all these different uh, cylinders, still very non-destructive, which what we want. And we can see how easily we just cut through these things. Um, and we can subdivide a couple times just so we have cleaner bites. That's essentially the main way I would go about Doing this, we get kind of that cartoony looking bite and a realistic burger. Cool. And then probably take, I think I want to put these into its own folder real quick. Uh, bun, bite, let's call this that. Bad. Wait, can I put this? I don't know what's going on here, but um, right. oh, cool. Can I drag this in? in a folder? Oh, I guess that's the thing. You can't do that. So, we're gonna grab this out of here and this out of here, which is the bite and the bun. And then we're gonna go folder, bun, bite. Once these two are in here, Boolean folder. And you can just kind of see what we have here. So pretty high density, but everything is at least grouped into 
its own joints. So probably what I would do after that is taking this model and maybe taking some of this detail out, keeping the groups. What's up, Knuckles? Actually, these ear meshing pretty fast. Not bad. Yeah, that was really dope. All right, um, so I'm gonna take this because these are separated into polygroups. That's what we want. Yeah, we'll subdivide it once, give it that extra sauce that we want. Blur the edges a little bit. Eva, did you change your profile figure? Nice. You already said that. I'm just fine. <laughs> okay, we're good. Thank you. Wait, so you lied? Have a good one. Cool. Mass by noise. Reverse inflate. So now we have a bite with a lot of texture in it. It's looking vibey. If we're kind of bothered by some of these edges, we can just go ahead back since we have subdivision levels. Blur those out. Big wives, what's up? Hey, yo, that's what it's all about. The most crazy extrusion from the bite. Once we have this, let's uh, blur it a little bit. <clears throat> Sometimes I kind of like ripping one of these guys. It's gonna be a little bit hard to see what I'm doing, but you'll get the vibes. bit of uh you know indentations around the bite or where it might be again we're here at this stage so you can always just come back and mess with this burger a little bit or fun kind of make it imperfect do all these things whatever you need to do Perfections are beauteous. Um, and you'd really do the same thing with the, the patty. So once you got that process down, I'd kind of just be doing that to everything. Again, I would have done this kind of at the beginning of the whole session from the start if I 
kind of prepped a little better and uh, putting in this bite, but you kind of get the idea. Um, it'd be the same process on the other side. I guess we could, I think we should do that to everything. Bottom bun, burger. So once we have this, let's just take this back, put it in the hierarchy. We could take this. Where's the burger? Is it this guy? Oh, it is this guy. Um, we don't need this anymore. This we can delete. Uh, but we do want to keep this, so this is now in this mode. Where is it? Drag this down, really, I think. And because it's in the same plane, it's going to be in the exact same bite. Before I do that, sometimes I get weird feelings about this. Let me save. Hey, appreciate that, Lotus. Um, let's see. The ZBrush Masterclass, I currently do not have one, but in the future, there have been talks. So you guys will find out. If you're following me on Instagram or anything like that, that's where you'll hear about all that stuff. So we saved, let's pull in the folder. Hopefully this works, kind of looks weird. Oh, there we go. That's what we wanted. What? Now this might take some time. Usually I would want to finesse this a little bit and remesh, but anything with a bunch of crevices and cracks like this, will the remesher will take a little bit longer. So to kind of prevent a little bit of that, I might just subdivide like this and do the same thing I just did. Just like this. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. Honestly, with the cheese, I might just finesse it a little bit. I keep using the word finesse, but it's very, um, very apparent in the stream. So I'm gonna go, honestly, let's do the move cloth brush. Why not? Uh, or is it cloth move? Yeah. And now when we move stuff, stuff kind of gets pushed around. So, perfect time. I'll get the idea. And 
and this is jelly so it should really be like kind of puffing up and doing its own thing to a certain degree very viscous I believe you would call it your face is viscous wow I said damn. But, uh, basic logic. You'll have a customer on me. You can promise a damn. Appreciate that, man. Bruh. <laughs> the one that was asking, it didn't even catch it. <laughs> the devil of that. If the devil that's easy. Easily pay. Oh, it'll be in depth, buddy. You can count on that. Appreciate that, man. Cool. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much the vibe at this point. Other than that, I'd finesse this thing a little bit more. You know, maybe I could, uh, let's collapse this. All right. This. No, I am missing this bite. Screw it. We've gone this far. Let's do it. We've been on the stream for... I think I have up to like an hour and a half, two hours max. Realistically, so... And I don't even know if anyone's streaming after, but we'll see. Let's just move this Wagwan down here. Um, don't need this anymore. Again, if you wanted to play it safe, you'd keep all these elements, but I'm just deleting it once we don't see, or once we make the, the bumped out bite. Um, and plus, we actually did save it. We have another whole folder. So let's drag this guy down here. It's its bottom button. On top of this, boom. Just like that. Boom folder. Oh wait, uh, subdivision, honestly, but screw it. Oh, oh we got three. Music though. What's up? Right, yeah. There's your bite. And what I would probably do now is realistically rip one of these guys with a Sculptress Pro, meaning a snake hook, and do a drizzling at it. Oh. Technically, you can make anything using any program. I feel like I'm a firm believer of that. 
I've gotten to the point where ZBrush is like second nature to me, especially with food stuff. Um, and so I use that more than cinema for make, making models and sculpting. But cinema for everything else, cloning stuff, making sesame seeds. Actually, I make the sesame seeds in here and then I just transfer them all over. Uh, Archviz, what's up? I'm Seti, what's up? <clears throat> Good to see you, bro. Met this dude in Atlanta like a couple weeks ago. It was lit. Anything else? Nope, pretty much YouTube stuff. I'm dope. This is where I would like, you know, inflate this. The dope thing about Sculptures Pro as well is if you're trying to get rid of mesh, you just boom. So it's like a lot of flexibility there. Uh, at this point, I'm going to geometry half zero mesh, just so we have clean topology, because Sculptures Pro kind of makes everything look like a DynaMesh mesh on the fly. And yeah, come time of any kind of animation, you would want somewhat of the clean topology. So we're just gonna half the resolution in zero mesher. And we're pretty much done, I feel like. Like, I mean, this is... We even went above and beyond, made the cheese, made this stuff dripping. This stuff is going to look super uh, nice and saucy once we bring it into cinema and all that. Uh, maybe just finesse in some of this area a little bit. Cleaning up some of these things, but for the most part, we're good. Like this, maybe we can clean up, take the cheese, move it back. Oops. brush yeah exactly and then just getting creative with any kind of weird like indentation lines you'd want like this, shit, this is literally just spongebob slime stuff so I feel like there's no rules this is the big vibes about it Nice what? Wait, what was I gonna say? <laughs> uh, that was good. Again, for those of you just joining, I'm not just talking to myself. We got Discord over here. And if you are trying to see my daily, like I stream every single day, not just, this will be a newer thing that I will try to pop into maybe a couple times a month, maybe more, who knows. Um, but I'm also talking with people on Discord and I do stream there every day. So if you guys are interested in that, link is in the description. It's quite the vibe. Or vibe, as we say. And yeah, I think that is pretty much it. I'm going to continue this later on in Discord. Um, I'm going to try to keep most of the ZBrush Live stuff, of course, in ZBrush Live or in ZBrush. And uh, I think that's a pretty good success for the first stream. Like, we did pretty much everything top to bottom hope you guys got something out of it what's up ashley thanks for pulling up what up nap lit, lit, lit. uh correct um that will be discord but yeah appreciate that guys i will be on here at a separate point again i go over a lot of the stuff later on uh but for those of you who have seen like my works on Instagram or anything, I do light all my stuff with my HDRIs. Um, all the stuff's in the description. I use pretty much one pack of the HDRIs for every single one of my renders. And uh, yeah. What's up, Omar? Now we're just vibing out. Let's see, what? Uh, how long has it been? It's been hour 13. I think that's like a perfect sweet spot for these things. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been a vibe. We'll be on Discord for a little bit. Scheming out here. And then that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time.